Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Motorola One Zoom. Now you can pick this up at Motorola.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 450 bucks. Now it comes in three different colors. You got electric gray, cosmic purple, and brush bronze. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, keep it moving. For the display, you got a 6.4 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 403 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass on the front and 3D satin glass on the back, which is splash and dust resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 with the Adreno 612 GPU. What does that mean? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now you're getting four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and you have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 512 gigs. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with a stock Motorola skin on top. So this is basically stock Android. You got a 4,000 milliamp battery that features 15 watt fast charging. Now check this out. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you're getting four different cameras. You got a 48 megapixel f1.7, that's your wide angle lens. You got an eight megapixel f2.4, that's your telephoto. You got a 16 megapixel f2.2, that's your ultra wide. And you got a five megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 25 megapixel f2.0 lens. Now you're also getting a non-screen fingerprint sensor, face unlock, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, FM radio, and a headphone jack. All right, so all that for 450 bucks, Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the I building. Love my white Shoes, I love my White Shoes, I love white my White Shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Motorola One Zoom, 450 bucks. Let's see, did we miss anything? Quad camera, high res, optical image stabilization. You got a 117 degree ultra wide camera, 25 megapixel quad pixel, up to two days worth of battery. OLED panel looks good so far tiger tooth on deck right. okay let's see what it is now you got the nice little purple box I like that something different okay flick of the wrist this is gonna be your phone right here oh with a case on deck already I like that we're gonna talk about those cameras in a second okay let's see what you get usual books and shit pluck them and follow them this is going to be USB Type-C charging cable and your 15 watt turbo charging brick. Let's see anything else in here. That's pretty much it. Now for the phone itself, let's peel this case off. Got a little gel skin case. Nothing fancy on this one, but it's going to give you protection from the top, all your sides and the bottom. Nice little uh, plus right there. Now for the phone itself. Yo, this phone got a nice weight to it. It's kind of heavy. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells fresh. Now let's see that 3D satin glass. Let's see if it's actually smudge and fingerprint proof. Looks good so far. It kind of looks like brushed aluminum, but it's actually glass. Okay, now check this out on the back. There's your quad cameras, four lenses. Now, on a side note, I think Apple should have put their cameras right there and had the flash. It just looks better in the middle as opposed to on the side. All right, so kudos to Moto. That looks nice. And on the back, if you notice, you see that Moto logo? That actually lights up, and that's your uh, notification LED. Let's get this plastic off the front. Right. All right, let's see if we got any juice. Of course, you got a little notch. All right, now you can make that disappear if you want. That's more like the teardrop. One speak on the top. All right, so no speak on the bottom, one speak on the top. There's your SIM tray, you got a mic. Like I said, quad cameras, little uh, dual tone LED flash in the back. Oh, look, you see it lit up? That's pretty sick. Power button on one side. Now this actually has a little texture to it. So you can easily uh, differentiate between the power and the volume rocker, I like that. Let's see on the bottom, mic, USB type C charging slot, headphone jack. Headphone jack, Apple, Samsung. You see what that is? Headphone jack. Let's keep it alive. 
and that's pretty much it. Nice OLED panel on this. I gotta say though, the weight, I'm feeling this. Now, I tend to like heavier phones, and this is one of those. All right, I like this. The build quality is a go. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll drop all my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I gotta be honest with y'all, for 450 bucks, this is a major go. You got your classic mid-range Motorola phone. Simple, smooth, clean, user-friendly, no bloatware, and it has a good camera. Now, on a side note, if you want the best camera on an Android phone for under 500 bucks, you gotta get the Pixel 3 AXL. But this one is pretty good. Let's break it down. First up, build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, you got your aluminum frame, and your satin glass finish on the back. Now one of the dope things about this finish is, even though it looks like it's brushed aluminum, it's actually glass. So no fingerprints on deck. You got this heavy weight to it. Y'all know Motorola makes quality build phones. This might be the best one yet. Not to mention, if you're gonna do four cameras on the back, Apple, do them like this, put them right in the middle. All right, you see how everything looks symmetrical and uniform? Even if there was three, have the camera hump right in the middle. That looks dope. Not to mention, you see that M on the back? Watch this. Bang. Notification LED, just looks sick. Next. Now you got a couple of different ways to unlock the device. You can swipe up, use your pin or your pattern. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly every time. And you got face unlock. Bang. Everything is nice and smooth. Let's walk through the OS. Pretty much stock Android. No lag on this. And check this out. Fresh out of the box, these are all the apps installed. No bloatware. Let's take it over to the toggles. Let's see, you got battery saver, auto rotate. Let's activate that. You got a night light. You got screencast. Let's see what else. Location, inverted colors, grayscale, and your files. Take it over to settings. Let's see, you got VPNs, private DNS. All right, everything is on deck. You got Bluetooth and NFC. Let's see, uh, battery. 4,000 milliamps on this. Ridiculous but you got power saver mode if you need it. Take it over to display. Now I got this set to max brightness and it is mad bright. But you can use adaptive brightness if you want. Let's go to, uh, let's go to colors. Now you got three different modes. You got natural, boosted, and saturated. Now I'm gonna keep mine on saturated. I like everything nice and moist, giggity. You got your dark themes, you can change if you want. Let's see anything else, let's go to sounds. Now, one thing that's crazy about this phone, they got the speaker on the top. I kind of like that though, and I'll show you why in a minute. Let's see, oh, lights, check this out, lights. Now, this is the light on the back, the Motorola logo. You can have it light up when the phone is in use for notifications, wireless emergency alerts, and when it's on the charger. So leave everything on, enjoy that dope light on the back. Why not? Let's keep it moving. Let's see, uh, advanced, anything we need to look at, all your different sounds. Turn those on and off at your leisure. Let's see, storage. Now this is 128 gigs. Look how much free space you got. Sick, no bloatware. Let's go to Moto Experiences. All right, so you got all your different actions. So you got your quick capture. This is your flick of the wrist to activate the camera. All right, so in other words, that's your world star gesture. So your phone on the table, somebody about to get slapped, pick up your phone, twist it up, and there's your camera. Not bad at all. Let's uh, open this back up. Where was we? Okay. So you got your fast flashlight. That's your chops. All right, karate chop for the flashlight. Karate chop to turn it back off. Let's see. Uh, you got one button navigation. So if you don't like the classic Android back, recently used apps at home, you could get rid of that and have your iPhone-ish gestures. I don't like that though, so I'll leave mine off. Three finger screenshot. All right, so you just three fingers swipe down. Just like that. 
I don't really need that though. You got your screenshot editor. All right, so once you take that screenshot, you can edit your picture right there, make your memes, keep it pushing. Flip for do not disturb. All right, so if you got your phone on the table, you get a phone call, just flip it. That'll put on do not disturb. Pick up the silence, same thing. You get a phone call, pick it up, it'll stop that ring. You got your media controls. All right, so when your display is off, you can use your volume up and down to change your songs. Lift to unlock. All right, so your phone on the table, you lift it up. That'll bring you right to your face unlock screen. If it registers your face, pop the phone right open. And swipe to shrink, that's your one-handed operation. You also got your modal display, all right, peak display. I'll show you how that works in a second. And attentive display. Basically, as long as you're looking at the phone, the screen will stay on. Simple and smooth. That's the theme of this phone. Let's see anything else. Uh, let's go to uh, security and location. Now, you do have... Face unlock, fingerprints, and smart lock. All right, let me put my poke. Let me see if they got trusted faces still. Because I heard they was getting rid of that. Let's see. Okay, so you got on-body detection, trusted places, trusted devices, voice match. All right, so no more trusted face. But you got face unlock, who cares? Okay. Keep it moving. Accounts, no need to look at that. Accessibility. All right, so if you're hearing or visually impaired... All of the accessibility features. You got your digital well-being. Monitor your scumbag activities. You got your Google system. Help. Blah, blah, blah. This phone is simple and straightforward. And check this out. Look, th This is what I mean by user-friendly. If you didn't know how to navigate those settings, you got your modal actions right there. Showed you how to use quick capture. Everything is a nice, colorful picture. Real nice. Nice and clean. Let's go to, uh, matter of fact, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Nice and fast on that. Now, look, <laughs> look at this. You see, this is what I was talking about. If you Now, this is three cameras on the back. But if you're going to do three, why not put it in the middle and just have that one as the flash, have the, the fourth camera hole as the flash? On a side note, I just bought this iPhone 11 Pro Max. After taxes, 1550 bucks. Apple, calm down. Anyway, I know, I had to get that out. Nice and smooth, though. Full website with all of the pictures. Let's check the split screen multitasking. Let's take it over to YouTube. iPhone on the top. YouTube on the bottom. Now, look, let me just say one more thing. For everybody out there with iPhones, I know y'all think this is a gimmick, but it's really not. It's really not. Now, I'll be, going, I'll be going back and forth with people online. This is not a gimmick. I use this all of the time. If somebody sent me a message right now and said, yo, Floss, you heard that new phone that's coming out next week called the blah, blah, blah. I'll say a word. I'll go online and look it up. And while I'm looking it up for the prices, I have YouTube open and watching a YouTube video on that phone. So I could be watching an iPhone video and shopping for iPhones. Split screen multitasking is not a gimmick. Okay, let's be clear. Now, matter of fact, let's take it over to the display and listen to these speakers. All right, so I got one of my videos queued up. Take a look at this beautiful OLED display and listen to the speaker. Little teardrop notch, but basically all display. Now let's cover up the top speaker. Still pretty loud. Now let me show you something. One of the reasons why I said I don't mind having to speak on the top because a lot of the apps you use, you're going to hold your phone like this. So having that top speaker makes it seem like it's louder. Now it would have been better with dual speakers, but it is what it is. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, check this out. Now you don't have an always on display, but you do have peak display. And here's how that works. When you pick up your phone, if you have any notifications, they'll be right there. Press it and take a peek. Hence the name peak display. Read all your messages without unlocking the phone. That's a nice little feature. Now let's take a look at the camera. You got your world star hip hop gesture, flick of the wrist. There it is. 
So you got HDR, you got your flash, you got your timer, you got motion photos, you got manual and auto mode, and you got settings. So let's see, uh, photo size, we'll leave that on 48 megapixels. Video size, you got 4K UHD, but I'll leave full HD 60 frames per second. You got slow motion, you got your selfie camera settings, all your AI settings, everything on deck. Let's see the different shooter modes. You got portrait, cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panorama, live filter. Got slow motion and time lapse. And take it over to video. Take a look at these pictures that I took. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention. Now I'm getting ready to catch a flight to the UK, so I'm gonna do all my camera testing out there. So shout out to team Aluminium. All of the pictures y'all seeing in this video is from London and Germany. See y'all on the other side. Alright, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Motorola One Zoom a major go. Motorola knows exactly how to make these mid-range phones, and this is another one. Hashtag another one. You're getting a quality, heavy-duty build. I love the look and the feel. You got a big, giant 4,000 milliamp battery with quick charge. You're getting a smooth, lag-free stock Android experience. Plenty of RAM, plenty of storage. You got a headphone jack, and you got a good camera. All of that for 450 bucks, that's a go. Now on a side note, like I said earlier, if you want the best camera on an Android phone for under 500 bucks, check the Pixel 3 A XL. And here's one more tip. If you got an extra 150 bucks in your pocket and you wanna step your game up, trust me when I tell you, 
y'all need to take a look at the Asus Zenfone 6. This might be the most underrated phone of the year. The build quality is so sick on this one. Check this out. Pop-up selfie camera on deck. Look at that beautiful display. Dual speakers, Snapdragon 855. This is flagship specs for 600 bucks. Anyway, Motorola One Zoom, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuce here. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>